is right now. Amen. Amen. Y'all don't have no time out when y'all were coming up this year. <laughs> Ain't no time out, bitch. Ain't no time out. You don't know what a time out was. Time out was in the ball game. That's when, that's when the referee did get yeah, that time out. That means everybody was start playing for a minute. If you were in the house I was raised in, time out was the time Dad took to catch his breath. <laughs> in between swinging that belt. He gets so winded he had to stop for a minute and regain his composure. That's my time, that's all time out I got. Amen. Get me out of jail. Get me out of prison. Get me out the graveyard. You follow me? You ain't gonna bruise my psyche by putting a bell on my behind. Amen. Lord said, chasten that child while there is hope. And let not thy soul spare his crime. Amen. Need to go back to what y'all used to do. Amen. We would have we would have better acting children. Children would respect adults more. Quit being so disrespectful. Child, just run over an older person's foot like I ain't even standing there. Pushing all the way there. Woo! <laughs> see, I wasn't raised like that. <laughs> when I see that happens sometimes. The, you know, the urge. <laughs> the urge. I don't like that urge because I realize that ain't my child right there. But that, I'll tell you that urge. You, you follow what I'm saying? I think you just, you just didn't do it. And when grown folk were talking, when grown folk were talking, you didn't butt in no conversation. Amen. Amen. Right. You're going to sit down and stay in a child's place. Right there. Need to get back. Amen. We need you to help us get back. So we can change the dynamics of our younger generation. If you don't help us do it, who's going to help us do it? One of the saddest times in the Bible is recorded in the book of Judges, where the Bible says that the children of God served the Lord all the days of Joshua. They served the Lord all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua. Then the Bible says, and then there arose another generation yes, sir. who knew not the Lord, mm -hmm. nor the works that he had done in Israel. Amen. To me, that's one of the saddest yeah. verses in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I could see if it said that there was a family mm -hmm. or a group of children. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says there arose a generation Amen. who didn't know the Lord. How does a whole generation come up and not know the Lord? We're not going to stand for that here. Because they are going to learn who the Lord is and what the Lord expects of them. And we need your help in that. Brothers and sisters, if you're here this morning and realize that you have gone astray in one manner of your life or another, the right thing to do would be to make things right with God so that you can meet Him in peace. Seniors, of course, each day they live, get closer and closer to meeting their maker. Amen. But you have an appointed time even as a young person. Amen. You don't even know whether God's going to allow you the privilege of, live, of living to be a sinner. Right. And so now is the time to get right whatever's not right. Amen. Now is the time to straighten up what's been messed up. Amen. So that you can face the Lord in peace. If you're already his child, you know that you need to repent and confess. And our God will be faithful and just to forgive you. If you're not God's child, there's only one way to become his child. And that's through obedience to the gospel of Jesus Christ. You must believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, John 8, 24. You must repent of your sins, Luke 13, 3. You must confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, Romans 10, 9 and 10. Then you must be baptized in the water for the remission of your sins, Acts 2, 38. Baptism is what actually puts you into Christ. Galatians chapter 3 and verse number 26 and 27. Baptism puts you into Christ where salvation is. That's the only way to be saved. And you're not baptized because you're already saved. The Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible teaches that baptism is so that you can be saved. So you cannot be taught wrong and baptized right. You have to be taught about 
the rightness of what baptism does, so that you will know what you are obeying. And so if you recognize this morning that you have done the wrong thing the wrong way, this is your opportunity to get it right before you meet the Lord. Come as together we stand and as we stand. Oh, where you